welcome to the weekend warm-up show everyone um welcome back to my co-host rick fantasia thanks brenda welcome guys to our um, episode 10 of the uh, warm-up show great um our first team uh, finally gained their, gained their first point over the weekend and with the under 23s getting their first win so that was definitely convincing from last week tonight we'll discuss how we went and we'll preview this week's game and talk about our new sponsors so everything straight after the break So just introducing um, some new sponsors that we have around the club this season. So we thank you um, for their support. We thank them for their support. So introducing um, Significant Financial Solutions. Um, so the, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The owner of the company, Rob Sordillo. Um, anything basically financial, um, property, commercial, go see Rob and the team. Um, he's been in it for a long time. I think over 10 years experience so yeah go see Rob and the team so without these sponsors you know it's hard to run a club so we we thank and we want everyone in within the club to support these guys because supporting those guys will also receive some benefit to our club so go see Rob um, we also have coming on board is a nurture health group um, which is located on Port Road um, there's owner Patrick and he's, he's a physiotherapist there um, and they've got some great sport facilities there. So he'll be working alongside, um, we're assisting Kelly as well, our trainer. So maybe if you want to just unpack that a little bit further. Rick? Yeah, so it'll be more managing the place. Mm -hmm. um, any injuries, obviously they record it with Kelly at the mm -hmm. club as well, um, which is awesome for us. Because you know it is a long season. The boys have been playing a long time through pre-season as well. So absolutely, and there's three teams to manage there as well. So Correct. between the 18s, 23s, yeah. and the reserves. So that's great to have someone um, on board. So yeah. thank you to them. And great they've got them. yeah great facilities as well with um, saunas and gyms and ice baths as well. So definitely it will help the team and uh, with their recovery as well. Hmm. Yeah, so thank you. We also um, introduce and thank um, Chemist King, so Michael Cello and his team. So we have um, the under, under 18s goalkeeper, Nick. Um, so welcome Nick to the to Eastern United as well and um, welcoming Chemist King as one of our supporters and sponsors of this year. Yep. Yeah, so like I said, support all our, all our sponsors. Um, go to our website, the links are there. It'll take you directly to the um, to each individual business. So, yep, support the local guys. Great, thank you. Um, we'll go to a break now. Okay, so let's look, have a look around from the grounds um, from last week and see how the results fared. Um, yeah, maybe uh, we'll, yeah, we'll look into the, yeah, into yeah, the yeah. league. Thanks, well, the, Rick. The last round, there was, uh, there was like six red cards. <laughs> so it was an entertaining round. Um, first, we'll start off um, from Fulham United and Barrow Hills. Barrow Hills uh, took the three points there. The game started uphill for, for the home side. You saw a red card in the first 11 minutes of the game. Para dominated possession, um, but then Fulham bat uh, battled and stayed strong all until the uh, 86th minute. Um, Para scored at that time, and then they had a, a play set off at the 90th minute. So uh, Fulham couldn't find an equaliser, so it ended 1-0 uh, mm -hmm. to Para Hills. Mm -hmm. uh, the next game we've got Cobras Port Adelaide. Mm -hmm. uh, Port Adelaide, Cobras at home look good. 
and the Port Adelaide suffered their first event of the season. So they were actually looking, we absolutely, lost them in the first game, so yeah. they've been looking, um, the looking good apart. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The good so far, their goal so. came in the 61st mm -hmm. uh, minute to uh, Cobras. Uh, both teams had a chance to score a few goals, so it's good to see Cobras obviously being promoted. They got their first point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good on them. Uh, the next one was Play Playford City, who we play this week mm -hmm. against Raiders. Mm -hmm. Raiders got the three points there, three nil. Uh, Playford at home should have won the game. Played decent, you know. Um, inside the 20th minute, should have had, you know, a couple of goals. Uh, but you know, Raiders struggled to impose their game. But on the 84th minute, uh, Raiders scored what they say is a controversial goal. So um, Playford protested that the ball didn't go in, but the Lions were awarded the goal. And as far as, you know, what I've learned, referees don't change their minds. So, um, but unless there's some super duper technology that they've got. <laughs> 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 <Not bring>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. um, so yeah, Playford now sit on two points, mm -hmm. just above us. Mm -hmm. And Raiders won three of their three games, so Tracking they're well, doing so well. Far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cumberland and Blue Eagles, this is where most of the red cards came from. Right. Um, Cumberland at home started well, the game started with a few chances between the two sides. Mm -hmm. uh, last five minutes of the first half was just mayhem. Right. Uh, Cumberland scored 1-0 on the 40th. Blue Eagles got a player sent off on the 85th minute. Mm -hmm. um, start of the second half, despite being 10 men down, Blue Eagles equalised. So, um, coming to score again on the 70th minute mm -hmm. uh, through a penalty. So, okay. then on the 85th minute, there was an incident off the ball which saw both teams receive red cards. The game finished 2 1 uh, for, for Cumberland. Cumberland. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there was the referee seemed a lot, he seemed quite busy that game. <laughs> They'll be sitting at a few fines this week, so <laughs> FSA should be making a bit of coin. Uh, the next game we've got Vipers and McCullough, two all. Uh, Vipers once again taking the lead. They scored on the 21st minute. Uh, McCullough equalised on the 36. But um, you know Vipers pushed to the end and found the goal on the 81st minute. So uh, two all, good result I'd, I'd say for both both teams. So um, then we've got our our game against LA Victory. First half, I thought, I mean, we'll just slow out of the blocks. Um, there was a few discussions that were made on the pitch, again, you know, within our players. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, obviously, Gab and the team, Paul, spoke to them at half time. They came out. Um, we dominated the second half. Right. Um, if it went for another five minutes, I think we could have got the three points. Mm. So it just goes to show we have got the quality to to score, uh, make chances, because we have plenty of chances. Mm -hmm. um, so but they just have to obviously switch on from... From the beginning of correct. the match, yeah. 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 Um, so, a big score line there. So, who scored the goals for Eastern? Um, we've got Ale scored two, and Pano right. scored the one. Uh, so, it looks like all our defenders are leading goal scorers for the club. So, maybe they've just got to switch up and right. put the forwards maybe in defence. <laughs> um, We'll have a quick look at the ladder. Mm -hmm. So we've got Raiders up the top, mm -hmm. nine points. Haven't, yeah. Yep. So the game. Um, they're doing quite well. Perry Hill's up there at second, Blue Eagles third. Blue Eagles always going to be towards the top. Um, Porto are doing well, they're mm -hmm. fourth. But if you look at the bottom of the ladder, we've got Fulham with uh, no points. Eastern, we've got our first point from the weekend. And our team that we're going to play this week, Playford, just above us on two points. So. Okay. Um, they've got two two draws. We've got the one draw. So this week, big opportunity for us there. Yeah, is a must-win game. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. We'll just um, go to a um, a quick break, and then we'll look forward to our to the game this week.
Okay, so moving forward to this week's game um, against Paper City, we're um, at home, so we're in, on the afternoons, we have the 18s kicking off um, mid, about 1 o'clock, yeah. um, the under 23s will kick off about 3, I think, and then 3.30, uh, and then the uh, first team will kick off at 5 o'clock. So let's have a quick look at uh, Playford and how they've gone, yeah. Yeah, so Playford, they would have had high expectations at the start of the season. Mm -hmm. um, they've brought in a lot of uh, experience. Mm -hmm. They've got the, the ex-captain from Campbelltown. They've got the full forward from uh, Metros. Mm -hmm. um, so they would have, given what they had to play yes. with, they, I suggest that they thought they would have been in the top three to start it's off the season. Yeah. But that's football. We, we thought the same thing as well. Absolutely. Um, so it's going to be a, a tough game. But I reckon it'll be a really entertaining game. Mm. Um, both teams are looking for their first win, yeah, the three points. Um, they did well in all, all their matches, but they just couldn't find um, the net mm -hmm. and just unlucky at times, as you would have seen with our games too, you know. It, even last weekend, that Tanasi cracker from the outside of the 18 yard box could have gone in. Um, or our defenders could have scored another two goals. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, this week, I think it's going to be a very entertaining game. OK, so let's um, have a look and, at this week's round coming up and we'll do some predictions over the the, um, the games that are in State League 1. So yep. first up on um, Saturday afternoon is Bacala and Adelaide Cobras. How do you think that's going to go, Rick? Uh, I think Bacala at home. Uh, I know Cobras got their first first win last week, but mm -hmm. I think Bacala should get the points there. Okay, so we've got Parra Hills and Cumberland. How do you think that's going to fare out? Um, come, I'm going to go Parra Hills just because it's a home game okay. for them. Cool. Um, um, yeah, in the afternoon as well, on Saturday, we've got Blue Eagles and Raiders. This would be a good good game, this one. Um, Blue Eagles at home? Yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Raiders. Okay. Yeah, get the get the win away. Cool. Um, Saturday evening, um, we've got Port Pirates and Fulham United. I'm going to go Port Adelaide. Mm -hmm. I, I saw them play against us and they were actually pretty good. Mm. Um, and so, their striker yeah. is a... Yeah, he is. Quite great. outstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, we've got a Monday night game, Adelaide Victory and Vipers. Uh, I'm going to go Victory. They should get their players back. Right. Um, they missed out last week, so... Yeah, I'm going to go victory. Great, perfect. Um, we'll uh, overview our, our, game. our game and our predictions. So, um, 18s have been unlucky again, haven't quite managed to get a win. So, um, we'll see what they do this week. Uh, play for, I'm going to go Eastern under 18s, 2-0. Yeah, the three perfect. points for us. Um, under 23s, you get a win, a solid win, convincing win, but very good. Um, last Saturday yeah, at the yeah, park, yeah. yeah. Well, Rock changed the formation last week. Um, I think the, the players liked it, they enjoyed it, and you can see it on the pitch, they played well. Absolutely. Um, they so certainly gonna, dominated against that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to go the our um, under 23s, 3 1. Perfect. Um, and then we will, yeah, how do you think the first team's going to go? Uh, I predict us to win 2 1. So we should get all nine points, if you hear that, Gabby. <laughs> um, so um, what are we looking for? Goal scorers? Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Ali. <laughs> <laughs> you can see our top goal scorer, I think. Uh, I'm going to go with Ali and Tanasi. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. Hmm. Sounds good. All right, thank you, um, everybody. Again, we look forward... We really do thoroughly enjoy presenting this and bringing this show to you each week. Um, please um, subscribe to our show and hit like and send it out there um, for all to see. So thanks, thanks again, Rick. Um, just wrapping up, we do um, appreciate all of our sponsors as well, and um, thank you for for the new ones that we have um, that have joined the club this season. So yeah, um, anything else you need to add? No, if you're not doing anything on the Saturday, come down to the club. We've got the canteen open, uh, bar facilities, great uh, facilities. Going to be great weather. Come on down and enjoy the food and drinks. Perfect. We'll see you next week.